right, here we go. You got one leg, a quarter squat. Your weight is on your heel and you're just tapping by your heel and out to the side. That's your first 30 seconds. Second 30 seconds, you'll switch sides. So when you hear the siren, you'll switch sides and keep going. Make sure you're hinged at the waist. Keeping that weight on the heel, okay? All right, here we go. You're gonna get in a good plank. You got one slider on one foot and you're just staying in a good plank as you do a little lateral slide out to the side. Keeping that core engaged, glute engaged, navel sucked in, good body alignment. First 30 seconds will be that leg and then when you hear the siren, you'll switch over. Don't worry if this is too difficult for you. The modification is, see how she just drops that one knee down. Notice her body position is still good. No booties in the air. Still has a good plank going on even though she drops one knee down. All right, here we go. Little bent over row, slight bend, hinge forward. Got those elbows going straight back. Good flat back. Weight on your heels. That's your first 30 seconds. Then when you hear the siren, you're gonna put it down, switch to this grip right here. So you can do, stand up a little taller with this one. There you go. Keep that core tight and just bring it up. Make sure you don't crotch yourself with the bar. And do these hammer curls. And the suspension trainers. Get into at least a little quarter squat. Get your positioning right so that you can rotate. Keeping those elbows in. Again, you're pulling your wrist right towards your rib cage. Make sure you keep those legs slightly bent, booty out. She, see how she's leaning back? That's your body position right there. And that's the whole minute. And the suspension trainers. Get into at least a little quarter squat. Get your positioning right so that you can rotate. Keeping those elbows in. Again, you're pulling your wrist right towards your rib cage. Make sure you keep those legs slightly bent, booty out. She, see how she's leaning back? That's your body position right there. And that's the whole minute. All right, you're gonna sit on the stability ball, get your dumbbell, walk yourself out. See how she's got a good tabletop going on there. Her head is resting on the ball. She's doing what we call skull crushers or nose breakers. Nice name, right? Elbows are tight, she's working those tries. Got her core engaged, her glutes engaged. Pretty much a lot of things are firing right now. Neck is relaxed on the ball though, no strain of the neck. Go right to your eyebrows or above your eyebrows with the weight, keeping your elbows fixed in that position and extend your arms upward, lower slowly. Keep those hips engaged the whole time. She doesn't have slumping hips. 